Hello everyone, this is Tofik from adobemuseexpert.com and today I'm going to show you how to change your uh, text selection color on your Muse website. First of all, if you're not sure what is uh, text selection color, um, if you build your website with Muse and you preview this in the browser or, or upload it in the, and uh, you select your texts, you see that um, that light blue color on the background, that's actually the text selection color. Now by default it is this light blue or sky blue kind of color and you can't change it inside of Muse uh, because Muse doesn't allow us to do that. Uh, but what if you want to uh, have the color that matches with your branding? Uh, good news is I have made uh, a widget for you guys which is free. You can download it from adobemuseexpert.com. I just added the link to the description of this video so you can click it um, and download this by clicking on this widget below the page. Uh, the page itself uh, was designed in Muse and it has that uh, pinkish color as its selection color. It is applied to all the text. Let's go ahead and see how to use the widget. First of all, uh, you have to download that from here and unzip the zip file by double clicking on the uh, zip file. Once you unzip it, click on the multi file to add the widget into Muse. Uh, once you've added that, um, you, I would suggest you to add that on the master page so it applies throughout the pages on your website. If you have multiple masters, um, I would suggest you to do that to all of those. Maybe you have two master pages uh, and you have to add the widget twice to those master pages. Um, go to your library panel uh, on your Adobe Muse. If you, if you don't have it, go to Windows, sorry, Window, and then click on Library. All right, not in the uh, widget library that comes with Muse, but library panel. Uh, once you see that AME custom text selection color uh, 1.0, uh, open the folder by clicking on the arrow and then uh, drag this widget into the canvas by dragging it. Once you've added that widget in the, into the page, you will see a thumbnail generated in the widget and that will show us what is the current background color and what is the current text color. Once you have it on the canvas you can click on the uh, blue flyout menu and you can change your selection color which is background color to whatever color you want. In this instance I'm going to use this uh, bright pink color as our background color and uh, white as the text color when selected. Now if we go back to the home page and preview this page in the browser And we can see that our background color has changed to the pink, uh, bright pink color that we wanted. Before it was this uh, sky blue color, and now we have our desired pink color uh, that we wanted to be our selection color. If you want to change it uh, to something else, maybe this uh, violet color, and you go to go back to home page and preview this page in the browser. Now you can see this is actually changed to violet so it means you can select any color you want if you know hex if you know the hex code of your color you can add it over here you can um, you know use any of the color from there and whatever color uh, you want to use as your six, uh, as your background color and as well as your text color now what if you want to change your um, branding color maybe you used this pink or whatever color you want and then you want to change it now muse has a little facility to change your color from your color palette maybe you have a website with thousand pages and uh, there are a lot of contents over there has this color and uh, you don't want to go to each page and change their color one by one what you can do you can select one of the objects or one of the elements that has the color and from the color drop down uh, you can double click on the color that is, that is applied to the element and you can change it. For, for this tutorial I'm gonna change the bright pink color to bright orange color and once you click OK 
you see the all the elements that had the color before is changed to the new color now you remember that we use the same pink color to our widget if you go back to the widget you will see that the widget color is also updated you didn't have to change it on the widget you just changed it on your color palette and it is update, updated on your widget and if you preview this page and select it on onto the browser you see that color has been changed from that pink sorry that pink to that orange so this is really handy for you know updating your website time to time if you think this video was helpful for you please give us give us a thumbs up uh, please subscribe if you if you want to learn more tips and tricks and news I'll show you some more tips and tricks in the following videos uh, and if you have any question regarding this tutorial please go ahead and ask in the comment section I'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible.